Hello everyone and welcome to another Valheim video. You may remember from the last one, uh, we just defeated Eichther, got some simple materials, and started in the Black Forest. In this episode we are going to go to the Black Forest and kill some Grey Dwarfs. I don't know why, we're just going to try and kill some Grey Dwarfs. Now, hopefully, uh, I'm just gonna say this while it's loading. Well, well, it's loaded, but I'll still say it anyways. If you want, um, you can subscribe. I really do not care if you like, or like, just subscribe if you want. I don't care. It's up to you. It's free and helps me out, but it's really your choice on what you do. With the pickaxe, you can mine rocks, and this here uh, looks like some cave. So I'm going to mine the entrance because there are rocks in front of it. That's a bit annoying. Hopefully, I can mine open the entrance. I don't remember if I encountered any in the last episode, but this game has big blue monsters called Trolls. Now, we are back in the burial chamber here. And that's what this is called. And seems to me I gotta throw out some stuff. Throw out the necktail, maybe some resin. I don't really need a skeleton trophy, it's just for shield, but like, we've got our wood shield. And throw away some wood here. Flint. And I'm gonna eat some more food. Okay. We're going in. So I seen there's three doors. This is the center. Okay, that did a lot of skeletons. I am scared of these. Uh, if I die, this is gonna be horrible. Crap. Uh, that's a problem. And now it's night. This is bad. Okay, so we are getting damaged. Once our health regenerates, we should be good. But we do need that to happen. We, have a, we fortunately don't have any more health food. That we can eat right now. So, I'm having a cookout in the burial chamber. Yeah, this is a bit of a problem. The fact that we have to do this is bad. Like, very bad.
eat cooked poor meat. I'm also just gonna keep roasting their food, so then we've got lots of it. Uh, I guess we're just gonna be switching spots, really. Skeletons, just go away. I'm just gonna have to stick on top. Oh, one in there? You may notice that I have no comfort step right now, but I'm getting but I'm getting the rested effect. I have no comfort oh I have comfort one. But I'm just out set down in front of a burial chamber trying to get my health back so I can go back in and kill the skeletons. And now I've got rested eight minutes. It won't go down until I leave the fire. And when I step in I need to take out my hammer. So then I can break the fire that I was using in the burial chamber. And then I can breathe and I won't lose health rapidly. So it looks like now I'm at full health. I'm going to go in with my hammer out. Nice. But I currently got cold. It says I can't breathe in the smoke. Smoke is pretty much going to stay. No, the smoke's gone. Okay. This burial chamber on my map. BC burial chamber. We're gonna have to do it later, unfortunately. No, uh, still night time. Forgot about that. I'm just gonna get enough wood to build a roof over this. So I've got a smart idea. Build a roof. It'll be helpful. Um, now I've got a lots of I've got to mine this rock here, and then if I place the crafting table in an alternate spot, I will I will have to keep making more walls because the station will be too exposed because the crafting station needs a roof. But, I'm doing this so I can craft some arrows and I can kill the ghost and skeleton that are down there. Just for safety precautions. Anyways, and I've got this, I can, there we go. 20, what arrows? Okay, I've got to get in the burial chamber, got to get in the burial chamber, got to get in the burial chamber. I'm being careful though, because now that there's a brood out there... I'm definitely in danger. Great, 
Raven Brute is a really strong mob. It is like the Great Dwarf, but it has a stick and it's very strong. So we gotta watch out for those early on until we get bronze armor. Now, on these videos, please don't hate comment me because I'm making progress slowly in this series. Okay, what we just picked up there is a certling core. And certling cores can help us make smelters. And the smelters, well, there's copper and tin in this game, I should say first. And the copper and tin get smelted. In a smelter, which you need five certain cores and 20 stone to make a smelter, and you need the same to make a charcoal kiln. Now that there is a one star skeleton. That skelly is very dangerous. He just got all of his buddies. Yeah, that's not very good. Let's just hope that, uh, no more skeleton. Oh, it's day four. Just saying. It's on the screen. Now, uh, every time a mob has a star, that is the stronger it is. Uh, in other games, mobs may have, like, different levels that may appear above their head and the star is the resemblance of that in this game I just got to do it I'm running in if the brood is still out here we're done Is in fact left our station and will not come back. I'm gonna throw some things away, but I'm going to mine some little bushes and tiny trees. You're not supposed to, but I need to to get some wood right now to make some arrows. If I need arrows to shoot the ghost and skeletons. Oh yes, yes, I've been wanting to find one of these. This here is a copper deposit. There happens to be multiple of them. But a copper deposit, you use your pickaxe to mine it, and then once you've got a smelter, you can fuel the smelter with coal and then you smelt your copper. Now that there, a fir cone, you can use fir cones and pine cones that you get from well, any seeds or cones you get from different trees. And those cones are technically, they just, I guess you can plant them, really. And then, yeah, that's what will happen. You get to plant them, they grow, and then eventually you've got yourself a nice tree. Now I'm going to make 60 wood arrows this time, instead of 20. There we go, now we're out of wood. I can go back into the burial chamber with my bow and arrow. Sorry, I had to add the plural there. Now we trigger the skeleton to come out, and he'll try and kill us. You know, it's mean, but we need that to happen so we can take him down and get his bones. Oh, God. I'm shooting the ske- I could hurt the skeleton with my club, but, you know, I don't really want to. Can get the ghost to come out here. 
Now once the ghost is out here, you can shoot the ghost. Fortunately for me, uh, skeletons and ghosts can't get up on this step here that I'm on. That's why the ghost is just there staring at me. And the ghost has been taken down. Ghosts and burial chambers, unfortunately, do not drop anything. They're just there. It's a threat that you have to deal with. Now I heard that if you see rocks like this, there will be treasure. So there we go, amber. Don't know what amber is used for. It only said new material, so probably nothing. And then here we've got three more certain cores. I'm hoping we find another one. That there's an amber pearl. We don't have enough room in our inventory, so I'll just get rid of the fur cone because I'm sure we'll get more of those later. And there we go, amber pearl. Complete. We've got that. Now we've still got the right. And here we have a chest with more coins and ruby. Ruby is another treasure that you can just find in burial chambers. More yellow mushrooms. And there happens to be another door with yet another certain core. Okay, this is something I've never seen while playing a downstairs in a burial chamber. You can see more rubies there. But there's another ghost and an archer skeleton. Okay, we've got to run. And see, the ghost is coming back up. No, 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 I want the ghost to come out. Come on, ghosty, ghosty. Come on, ghost. Where is it running off to? Yes, I need you to stay here so I can get rid of your skeleton friends. And I can get my certain cores I need, if there's any down there. Go away, please. Just die. There we go. Another ghost kill. There is a lot of stuff in this burial chamber that are going to try and kill me. As this is a large burial chamber. Oh man. I gotta just get rid of this skeleton. Okay, now, this room happens to have four certain cores, which is a lot. And we currently have eight, nine certain cores. That's quite lucky. And this will happen to have more. Okay, we've got ten amber and five rubies. There were more treasure in that in that room too. So now we gotta go up here. Just a dead end right there. And there happens to be another door. With again an archer skeleton. Oh skeletons are so annoying. This happens to only be a short area with yet another two certain angles. We now have 11. We could make a charcoal kiln. We could make a smelter. And we'll still have one thing left over. Now, out of this room, there's another door which has four skeletons. Excuse me. And one of them. And it, they happen to be one stars, too. Do I have enough? Yes, I'll have enough arrows. Go. Guys, come back. Not acting like 
I just let you out of a zoo. Well, I did let you out of a zoo, but. One skeleton down. If this guy won't stop running around like a rabid ferret. Maybe I could actually get him. <sighs> yes. Oh, now they're all out here. Saying, hey, can you shoot me too? Gotta get that one over there. Easy. Gotta charge up on you. Stop running off. One star. I want... I want your guys' loot. You guys have juicy bones that I currently need. Because then... As you might remember, from when I first got bones, I could make a deer hide cape. Now, I can't really right now, because I'm in a burial chamber. And this burial chamber is taking a very long time. Skeleton, come back here. Your turn next. Right after this guy. Okay, I better come back out here. Repair those. I've only got 10 arrows left. This isn't very good. Yeah, um, I gotta take you out so then I can take your brother out. Ghost again. More amber. More ruby. Nice. Some yellow mushrooms in here. And these strange walls again. That have nothing but a ghost. Um. Yeah. That's not good. I've only got eight arrows left. This is the last room in this burial chamber. Now, we've got 13 certain cores. This was a good burial chamber. I'm just making sure this is the last room. Went here and then I ran, yep, I ran down this way all the, the whole time. Right. That was a very long adventure into a burial chamber. Let's see what the nearest meadow is. Okay, there's meadows over there. But first, I want to get a bit of copper. As I have certain cores to get a smelter and charcoal kiln now. Surprised I don't have a house yet. Okay, Hugin, what do you have? You have found some ore. Raw ore needs to be refined in the smelter before you can work it out of the forge. To build a smelter, you will need certain cores. Search for them in the dark places beneath the earth. Alright, I had just gotten certain cores in that barrel chamber. As that was a long time. And now, I'm just going to try and get some copper without any rude interruptions by gray dwarves that I'm deathly afraid of that I just killed. 
Anyways, raid wars. Uh, yeah, they're, they're annoying. So we're just gonna stay out of the black forest. You know, just we're not gonna try to be here too much unless we're defeating the up and the next boss or something. Cause you know, this is like the second area. So that's what Hugin said. Alright, let's see, we've got four copper. Hopefully you can just keep mining. Yeah. I don't really want to get anything else besides a bit of copper to bring back to Z base. I don't know, I'm just saying that. I don't have a base yet, but we are going to build a nice shelter in this video. If you're there saying like, oh man, this is so unstructured, well, the burial chamber was a bit of a hit or miss situation. some more food. I'm just gonna get as much copper as I can carry because I just want to be safe like in case I don't have enough copper to make something or whatever. I'm gonna have to throw away my dandelion crown. I will make another one I promise. Because the pickaxe has the antlers of like there, I just noticed that there, there's blood on the antler. That is cool. There's a lot of stone. Anyway, it's time to mine some more copper. But, uh, once we have some cop, once we have as much copper as we can carry, I promise we will head back to base as we need to. Alright. We've still only got five copper. This is getting annoying. There we go. More copper. Six. You remember it? You may remember at the start of the episode, uh, I only had pickaxes four. Uh, and now I've got a lot stronger pickaxe. You might have just seen it was twelve. That is just over time I get skills to be higher. I'm gonna keep that wood there. I don't want to be blocked up with stone. Now, if you're wondering why the why Max isn't in this episode, uh, I just decided. I'll record the second one on my own. And we've got 11 copper. And we're at 299 pounds of weight. I'm gonna throw away the uh, 8 boar meat. Throw away the ruby. Bring my amber count down to 10. Then away six. Bring the food count down to ten. 
remove seven of these. And we're at 289 pounds. Take out that wood too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw away the amber pearls. I wanna be able to carry as much copper as possible. So I have to be careful with my weight distribution. Alright. It is almost night by the looks of it. As you can see the sun the sky is getting a little bit darker, it's starting to turn orange. Which means the sun is probably setting. We're just gonna go somewhere in the meadows, build a base, and then abandon the black forest because we're not going back here for a while. Because look, I'm just trying to step out and I'm being attacked by gray dwarves. I'm being chased by Red Wars. So now I'm just gonna go deep into the meadows and try and get away from the Red Wars. Okay, so they're still chasing me. I could still walk. Right, now's my time to run. I'm running fast. I gotta get away from them. Now just gotta keep going, keep going, keep going, running, running, running. Running as fast as light so we can just get away from those gray dwarves. Because nobody wants to be near gray dwarves. That is terrifying in the early game. Later on, gray dwarves just become an annoyance. As in, uh, what's an example I can give? Okay, once you got really strong gear, you're just there, like, chopping wood, and a bunch of gray dwarves appear, and then you've just got to take them out. Just taking lots of time. Now I'm gonna work tonight. What am I gonna do? I know what I'm doing. Trust, trust me. Um, I don't have enough wood and I don't have enough weight. I'm just gonna have to run out the night. I think better not see me. Just found a grid wharf in the meadows. I think I might head back towards spawn. Come on, boy. Come back. Uh, what have I disposed of? Oh, the great roof. What do I dispose of? I've got nothing I can dispose of. I'm just gonna have to run.
That is another queen bee. We took some poison damage there, but we did what we had to do. Of course. I'm carrying too much. to lighten your load. If you carry too much luggage, you will become encumbered, slowing you down and preventing you from regaining your stamina. Alright, thanks I guess. I don't know what I'm going to do with that information, but... You know. I'm sure there are a lot of people that like, if you guys are playing Valheim, and you just complain about Hugin, I wouldn't. In the early games, like, First time around, new world. He could be helpful. So I just choose to not complain about you again. I just let him live there. But you know, he's not he's not really doing any harm. Unless you're like fighting a boss or something and he shows up in front of you. Then you like, get hurt. Alright. I think that we should probably, uh, you know, I don't really know. I'd say in the morning, once we've got our base built, you know, we'll just have it there. Well, we're not really going to have our base built, but once we've got some wood, we'll build a smelter and we will probably leave it there. You know, I will probably build a workbench here, and then what my certain colors in. Yeah, so we need to just dig here and get some. All right, I'm building a bed in here. I don't have enough wood to build a bed, unfortunately. Gotta mine some more little trees just so I can get the more wood, and you know, just leave it there. Because I really don't have that much more to do. And next episode, we will expand a base. And yeah, that will be the next episode. I really have to build a torch, alright? There we go. And now I have to get my pickaxe and I've got to dig. Just like, well, I'm just gonna find a rock. I need a rock, I need a rock, I need a rock, 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 Okay, I found a rock. I really just want to get a fire, and then go to sleep, because then, yeah, then it's going to be day, and then, in the next episode, we will gather lots of stone, build chests, and we will get lots of wood, as that's all we really have left to do. Right now, we are just taking our time, going at our own pace, and... Place my fire here, and I gotta go in, and I gotta get some sleep. I haven't slept yet, I don't think. And good night. Actually, I think I, think I will show the smelter, maybe. But, uh, possibly, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, yeah, more episodes coming soon. Another Braid Dwarf. Now these things are just becoming an annoyance. And I am still scared of them. Like, I don't even have good armor, and now they're becoming annoying. Not even, because uh, like, I'm just building a house, right? And then the Grey Dwarf shows up, and then I can't do anything with the Grey Dwarf here. So I'm just gonna quickly, uh, put on a campfire. Well, now I've got a campfire, I'm just going to put that on there, the cooking thing, and now I'm just going to do this. Okay, there are lots of rocks outside my house that I can mine. Just got to peacefully mine these rocks, because I'm just going to get some more stone. Wait, how many do I have? Six stone. All right. 
Six stones, good, good amount. Just gotta get the 20, and uh, then, you know, I can build a smelter. Oh, sorry. And once the smelter is built, I will try and smelt some of my copper because I need to smelt copper. Uh, maybe, maybe not, maybe indeed. Yeah, probably not. I'd say next episode we might go on a copper hunting spree. Uh, maybe. Yeah, pro I probably will show you what it's like. Gotta place that. Oh yeah, forgot. And then do this. Come on, Grayling. I'm gonna kill you. All right, Hugh and I will read what you have to say in a second. I really just gotta. I burnt some deer meat, so then I can just turn. I can turn it into coal, and I will smoke copper. All right, time for the grand reveal. As that copper smelts, I will read what you can ask to say. You have built a smelter. Deposit your raw ore in this furnace, and it will melt away all impurities, leaving you with a bar of refined metal to work at the forge. You will need coal. The fuel the smelter. This can be produced by building a kiln and loading it with wood. All right. Thank you, Hugin. Uh. Well, now I guess he wants us to get more stone. So I can make a charcoal kiln to put wood in. That costs the same amount of materials as the other thing. You know, we're just doing some simple things here. Get us started. We've got a base now. And we don't want to go too fast progressing, because then, like, the videos will get old, you know. And then there's no more content to explore. Well, we've still got lots left. Yet. As, uh, we're just getting started, really. Like, we defeated Ikther. We just got some normal leather armor. But, uh, that, that's all I'm really- that's all we really got. And then, uh, now- now we've got this smelter, charcoal kiln, and now- copper. Uh, let me just get the copper, 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 copper. Copper Forge. Alright, uh, I'm gonna end it here. This will be the end of today's episode. Goodbye!